Hey guys, what is up? Gold Glove here, and we are playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This is a game of domination on the map that I cannot remember right now, but I do like it. It's, it's like a train station. I don't know why I can't remember the name. I, I'm just not familiar with the names yet. I do apologize. Please forgive me. Uh, but this is a pretty damn good game. You, as you guys can see, I am starting it off with the gold uh, PP90, which is my love, my baby. My, uh, my pippies, my pippies soup. Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, this gun is amazing, and, uh, you guys have already seen gameplay for this, so, uh, I do, I do use it at the beginning of the game, and then I end up switching up to a specialist class, uh, that you guys will probably enjoy. I kind of go off with it, but man, I have been having so much fun with this game. Call of Duty is fun once again. Um, you know, I see a lot of people complaining about it, and I, I don't really understand that. I don't... Um, a lot of people, I think, are just kind of, uh, just hating for no reason. They, they haven't really given it a chance, or, um, it's either, I don't know. I feel like some people love it, some people just hate it. I don't really know why that is. I don't know if it's just the way the game is, but some people are really having a tough time with it. And I feel like it's definitely different than, uh, Black Ops. So if you were, like, I feel like my play style has had to change since I played Black Ops. You know, the first couple of games that I had, I was it was rough. I was like, oh, I don't think I can figure this out. This is hard. I'm just doing really, really shitty. And I just can't seem to win gunfights, and I just can't seem to keep up streaks. And, uh, and then I slowly kind of told myself, you know, I need to adapt to the game. I need to change the way I'm playing. And uh, in this game, I feel like my play style is completely different than it's ever been in any Call of Duty. Um, I have been rushing my ass off. I'm completely in the other team's spawn all the time. I feel like I'm I'm bringing a Sandy Ravage approach, and I'm always I, I swear to God the <laughs> the uh, little badge or medal or accolade that I am always getting is most time spent near enemies, and I am constantly in the enemy spawn. And when you're playing domination in Modern Warfare 3, um, if you have them spawn trapped, let's say right now they have A capped only. They will not, and I repeat, they will not respawn anywhere else on the map, regardless if you're standing inside of A. There's probably three or four different spawn areas inside of A, and if you literally have a teammate in every single one and there's not a single spawn area that is able to be spawned in, then they might spawn in the middle of A and B. But the spawn never flips in this game, I swear. I don't know what it is, but we have... Oh, oh! Was that a trip? No, Jazzy Panda stealing my triple with the striker. That is okay. And it, for those of you who say shotguns suck in this game, I beg to differ. The striker is a sexy beast. And I almost got a little triple spray right there. Ooh, but I got my overwatch, which is just amazing. I just love it. Um, so I do spawn in again with my gold PP90, but I end up switching it, I think, after this death. Or it's coming up very, very soon. And then you guys will be able to see some uh, scar gameplay, which... Um, a lot, I noticed that a lot of my footage is with the gold PP90, and uh, it's just because it's the gun that I like the best. It's it's, it's kind of like uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. It's it's my go-to gun. It's the one I feel most comfortable with. And so whenever I'm maybe having a bad start to a game, or uh, I'm starting off a game that I'm not really sure, you know, how it's gonna go, I'll decide to use the gold PP because I know that it'll it'll just it'll be all be good in the neighborhood. You know, it's all good. And uh, I'm just, I feel very confident. You son of a bitch, baby Azul. Oh, so that's when I ended up switching my class. I decided to go with the specialist because I was winning gunfights in this game. And so I was like, you know what? Let's slap on the silent scar with a specialist strike package and go for a, 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 a Moab. Let's go for a Moab. Let's get one of these 25 kill streak little baby nukes and let's, uh, let's do some work. And it's, I feel like it's easiest with specialists. Granted, you don't have any kill streaks to help you along the way, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. You have, the whole point is to get a 25 gun streak. So the easiest way to get a Moab, in my opinion, is, to, what what was I doing there? I don't know, I was spazzing out, <laughs> um, is is using the specialist class by far to get a Moab. It, it's just the easiest. Um, you, you can get up, you can get every perk in the game, which you'll see, um, I end up getting. I get my specialist, um, kind of, what is, I don't know what it's called, specialist extra? All perks specialist thing. I don't know what it's called. And um, when you get it, you get every perk in the game. That's insane. That's insanity. So what I'm doing is I'm rocking hardline right here. All specialist perks, all specialist bonus, and I just start to do work. All these players start running at me, and I somehow cannot shoot the guy for the life of me. 
But right here, I mean, you guys saw me. When you have specialist, you are unstoppable. You can see everything on the map. You can do everything on the map. You're so fast. You're just, you're a one-man army. That's exactly what you are, is a one-man army. When I think of um, one-man army in Modern Warfare 2, this is what it should have done. It should have allowed you to get perks. It should have allowed you to actually be a one-man army. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Look at me spazzing out my screen. I don't know if I was just going so ham bony jabroni that that is the worst. That's the worst comment I've ever made, ever. I turn on these two. Oh, God, get destroyed. And, and another thing about the specialist thing, you get so many points if you're running, uh, if you have that seven kills or seven point streak on the specialist because you get extra points for being a specialist. So you get plus 100 every single kill extra for being in the specialist bonus. It's retarded. You get so much XP this way. So if you want to rank up fast, use Specialist, use the Silent Scar, and just go to town. You got Scavenger. Oh, that son of a bitch. He stopped my Moab. You guys thought I was going to get a Moab this game. I don't. I don't get a Moab. It's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm, go I'm going off on so many things. There's so much I could tell you guys about this game. Um, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know if there's something specific that you guys want to know from me. Uh, the, concerning this game, there's tons of, you know, I've been playing it a lot, I know a lot about it, I've already prestige once, I'm actually coming up on my second prestige, and, uh, so I've got, I think I've almost got 24 hours played already, and, uh, ooh, that was a nice little triple kill feed, I think more guys are coming around the corner, meeting your beat, sit the fuck down, that's a good gamer tag though, meeting your beat, and, uh, anyways, um, I am going to be playing uh, Skyrim tonight so that is what I'm getting all super excited for about to go to the midnight release for that game and probably never be seen in the outside world again or at least in the next six months I don't know uh, if one of you guys can hit me up on Facebook and send me uh, you know I don't know weekly current events and let me know what is going on in the world so I don't feel like I'm totally left out that'd be kind of cool maybe maybe I don't know but uh, ended up capping a right here like a boss and uh, I ended up getting the final kill regardless of it being, or it was it was during, we had a 195, and it was the final kill cam. So I kind of like how the game doesn't require the kill to be completed in the last, like, five seconds. It was actually the official last kill of the game, which is kind of cool. So I ended up finishing this game, like, 40 and 5 with 3 assists and a 250 domination victory. And uh, we were rolling with a full party and it was a good time. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a like and leave me a comment, even a uh, favorite. Maybe if you, if you like, I like your face. If you like mine, if you like my voice, if you like my videos. That's actually the main thing. If you like my videos, you should be giving, you should be giving a like. And I'm going to go to Chipotes. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm going to, I'm going to go eat Chipotle. Yeah, I'm going to go eat Chipotle. I'm going to go play Skyrim. It's going to be fucking awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.